Okay, next I had, uh, I put a video out a couple weeks ago on leveling the lawn with sand, and I got a few people that wanted to uh, go into that a little bit deeper, look at that a little bit more. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I leveled, uh, well, the lawn tools did. I didn't really do much work on that, but uh, we put in some, we had some low spots in my zoysia. And when I say low, well, we're talking a good two to three inch buildup in the big spots that we did. And uh, I, I had to do that because I had my driveway replaced. I had new pavers put in, and then I had new sidewalks poured. During the time I had the sidewalks poured, I ran drainage underneath those. I've had a big problem with drainage, basically, on that side of my house. And I corrected it with putting in um, drains, surface drains, not French drains on that side, just surface drains because water was collecting up by the house. Those are videos I did a couple years ago. But I wasn't able to run that drain through and under the sidewalk. So what was happening was it was draining off it was going across the driveway, messing the driveway up, the pavers, messing up the sidewalks, everything else. So when I had the sidewalks replaced, I went ahead and moved that, ran that drainage to underneath. So that's piece. But the second piece of the drainage was over there. I needed to just get rid of these low spots because the water was getting into those low spots and then sitting there and then uh, leaching, seeping, whatever, out and again, getting out of the driveway. So if I could build the areas up, the water would never get there in the first place. It would stay back towards the swale between houses where it should have been. So that's why I did that leveling. So the long and the short of that is, though, is, is I buried the zoysia. I just was impatient with it, whatever. And I knew my zoysia was tough, and I didn't want torpedo grass to invade by scalping. So you can go and watch that whole video where I talk you through the thinking through it and why I did it. However, the way I leveled there is incorrect. You should not bury your grass completely, okay? Again, watch the video I did on leveling my zoysia. And it basically, the, the title is, Don't Do It This Way. <laughs> I have people call me out. This is wrong. This is not how you level a lawn. I'm like, did you read the title, bro? I thought people nowadays were just headline readers. I thought that's kind of how society worked. And I said it was the wrong way to level, but you still had to leave me a comment and tell me it was the wrong way. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to win in that situation, but yeah, it was the wrong way to do it. It's just the way I did it. And the zoysia came through because my zoysia is alpha, baby, because my zoysia is strong because my zoysia can find its way, fight its way through any challenge. And I firmly believe that. I've talked about that before. When you work with your lawn long enough, you start to have confidence in it. Kind of like if you're a, a fighter, if you're training a fighter. You know, when you train a fighter from the beginning, you don't know what the fighter's capabilities are. You don't necessarily want to push your fighter too hard. You do push the limits here and there. But after you've been with a fighter for 10 or 15 fights, now you're like, oh, I know what he can handle. I can push him harder into the deeper rounds because I know what he can handle. And that's how your grass is too. By the way, raising kids are that way, too. You can give them bigger challenges. You know, when they're young, you don't challenge them too hard. You want to challenge them a little bit with things because you need them to grow. You need them to learn. But you don't challenge them the same way when they're 9 that you do when they're 18. That's why there's a certain age that you have to be to go into the military, which is a great challenge. So I felt good that my grass could make it through. I knew how my zoysia would respond to certain stimuli, and I turned out to be right. But that isn't necessarily the case for all of you, and that is not the right way to level. So I want to get on this and say, the first thing is people challenged me on the use of sand, and they said that sand can cause an issue because you can get this layering effect, and the sand can then become hydrophobic where it won't absorb water, and also the roots of the grass will only grow in the sand because it's easier for the roots to get through the sand, so they just don't go through whatever clay is below this would be in the case of most of you guys that have clay soil. There was a couple other things too. Oh, I know one guy was telling me that, you know, hey, those are areas where, you know, if you do that sand leveling there, that when you fertilize, those areas will go pale quicker. And there's an element of truth to all of that. And I can't argue with it, but I need you to understand that when I talk about leveling with sand, we are not leveling sports fields. People will look at Connor Ward, my good friend, and say, he does it. But I can tell you that Connor runs his lawn like a golf green. He runs his lawn like a sports field. He does not run his lawn like 99% of you that are listening to this podcast. Connor's a freak in a good way, in a positive way. But he also mows his lawn every day. Promise you he does, at least every other day. Okay, so he treats his lawn like a golf green. For the rest of, that's why he puts the sand down every year. But for us, the rest of us, the first thing I want to point out is that sand leveling is a once, maybe twice maybe three times thing, but usually twice, okay? You don't have to think that you have to, if you have 
issues in your lawn that you have to correct them with one sand leveling, but you probably shouldn't have to correct them with more than two. If you're going to put layer in a good inch, and I wouldn't do really more than an inch in most places at one time because you don't want to bury the grass. So if your lawn is so bad, there's so many bumps, there's so many low spots that you feel the need to have to level it more than twice with sand, then I would recommend you don't even try to level it with sand, that you go back the other way and scrape it and regrade it from the, from the jump. Start completely over. There is a point where sand leveling can be used if you have minor bumps. And again, to me, this is not a hard and fast rule. Don't go telling people this was my hard and fast rule. But for the most part, logically speaking, if you're going to sweep a layer of sand over your lawn to help it to be level, flat, get rid of the bumps, okay, you can do maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch one time. And if you need to do it three quarters of an inch to an inch another time, and really, it's probably going to be more like a half inch in most places. If you have to do it more than twice, I would say you're going to be better off just going backwards, starting over, scrape it up, and regrade. Because you've got a bad problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you got dealt a bad hand with a bumpy, crappy lawn. And I don't mean the lawn itself. I mean the soil. Either it wasn't properly finished graded in the beginning, which I see all of the time. I've seen it so much. I've mentioned this before in the podcast when I worked over by the South Side of Illinois, over by there, Frankfurt. Orland Park, Tinley Park, Mokina Moni over there. And I would see all these new construction lawns. They're putting these houses up so fast in the 90s. And there was no real finished grade done. I mean, it was a final grade, which was just not properly prepared, crusty clay. And, uh, you know, somebody had to get some some sod down so they could get their their, their permit, occupancy permit. And they just put that sod down over and tons of bumps and garbage. I've seen these lawns. I've walked on them. I've sprayed them. Sorry you got dealt a bad hand. If you can't sweep some sand in there a couple times and get that to fix, then you're going to have to fix what your builder didn't. That's just kind of how it works. Or just live with the bumps, which is what most people actually do. Especially if you have cool season lawn, you're mowing at three and a half, four inches. You can live with some bumps. You certainly can. So that's kind of what I would say. If you got to do it more than twice, it's probably that your lawn is so bad. Your soil, your grade... Let me use the right term. Your grade is so bad that you just need to start over. All right, so that's the first thing. The second thing, when it comes to, uh, and, it, and that's what I mean. If So so back to that, if you're having to say that I got a sand level five, six, seven times, I wouldn't do that. I would start over. Now, if you get to the point, though, where you did have a cut, you did that sand leveling twice, and it feels good. It feels decent. Maybe it's not perfect, but it's good enough now. It feels much better, right? Much better than it was. And you have these areas where there is a little bit more sand than others. Well, those are areas you're going to want to amend, just like you would anything. That's where you can use, you know, humic acid. Hose them down, paint them black, get some organics in there. Um, so you start using organic fertilizer to to help improve those areas. Get some carbon in there. It's not hard. I have, I'm looking out my window here. Uh, I need to do a video on this. I have some palms that are growing in pure sand. And that's because a lot of palms pr appreciate pure sand. By the way, I have a, t a challenge here that, most of you don't realize, I don't talk a lot about my palms, but I'm going to do some videos this this winter on them. But I actually have clay soil where I live here. I'm north of the Manatee River, and just the way the topography has moved over the years, we're actually sitting on clay. And every time I have anybody come here to do any kind of work, they're like, oh, gosh, you're one of these guys with all the clay. So you, I have a challenge in that I'm growing palms, which palms prefer sand for the most part, or loam. They're growing in clay. So I have this really bad challenge with palms, and I've succeeded. So anyway, I have a couple pots, though, that are isolated under my deck over here where I have these palms growing in pure sand, but the sand is black. It was pure white sand. I just got mason sand from the store when I planted them, but now the sand is black because I've been putting in organic materials, organic fertilizers, humic acid, lots of humic, lots of stuff from the next line, and now the sand is black because that, that black is an indication of organic material that's now in that sandy soil. So those are areas that a part of your sand leveling is you also have to realize, okay, I'm going to have to amend the soil in these areas. And I just like the liquids the best because a liquid is already the smallest particle that it's going to be. Spray it in there, let it mix in, and you'll see. You'll have nice black, I don't want to use the word dirt, black dirt, because people think of that like, like this beautiful topsoil of, full of organic material. No, it's the opposite of that, but you're turning it into something that has some CEC value to it that can hold water, that can hold nutrients, and that you're not going to have a challenge with over time. So it's all part of that. And then it goes back to why I always say don't use topsoil to level. Again, I'll just reiterate this. 
topsoil can be full of all kinds of seeds, weed seeds. And people will say, well, you could just control those with weed control. But yeah, but what if you bring in something that can't be controlled with weed control, like a goosegrass or something like that? Then what are you going to do? So it's much better to use sand, which is clean, and then build the sand up with organic material, amend the sand, rather than using topsoil that's going to break down over time anyway, that you're going to have to keep putting in there that could introduce weeds in there that you're going to have to use extra chemical on. So lots of different stuff there to look at, but I just wanted to kind of explore that a little more. Do not put in three, two, three, four inches of, of sand at one time on your lawn. Do it over time. Do it slowly. But if you think you're going to have to do it more than twice, I would recommend looking at some other options.